Hi, my name is Pat Bennett, and I'm here to help you if you are a tenant. Tenant is defined as you pay rent to somebody else for the place that you live in. I am doing this video because I want to help everybody out there who has a landlord who is classified as a slumlord. This is my story. In May of 2003, I moved my family and I up to a house in Willits, a duplex, a rental. <coughs> Willits, California is located up in the mountains and it's about an hour and a half away from Santa Rosa. It gets really cold up there. I never had any major problems with my landlord, whose name is Gil Duran, and he owns Duran Rentals, until December of 2012 when it flooded around my house. Now, let me tell you, out of the 11 years my family and I moved, lived there, it flooded eight times. So in December, which was the eighth time it flooded there, I took it upon myself to send an email to the city manager because I wanted to know had that been zoned a flood zone by FEMA. I also sent a copy of this email to my landlord. Well, as a result, I then got a notice of proposed rent increase in February, two months later, which was to be effective in April of 2013. Now, according to California Civil Code 1942.5, that's illegal because the code says if there is property damage done to the unit and the tenant decides to stay there, let me back up. If the property damage is done to the unit, but it's no fault of the tenant, the tenant's family, friends, etc., and the tenant decides to stay there, then the landlord cannot decrease services or increase rent within six months. And of course, April, you know, from December to April, that's four months, not six months, okay? That's the first thing my landlord did to me that was wrong. The second thing was, I have a disability. And under federal law, people with disabilities are allowed by federal law to have service or emotional companion animals in their home with them free of pet fees because under federal law the service or emotional companion animal does not is not considered a pet I brought this up to the attention of my landlord and I sent in my doctor's note you have to have a doctor's note to prove that you have a disability okay I did provide a doctor's note and I got a letter from my then attorney's my, my uh, sorry, my then landlord's attorney, his name is Lee Adams. I got a letter from this man and he quoted the Fair Housing Amendment Act of 1968, which has been outdated and replaced by the Fair Housing Amendment Act of 1988. I sent his attorney a letter back quoting the Fair Housing Amendment Act of 1988. On top of this, my contract, my rental contract that I had with my landlord, Gil Duran stated in there that if there was property damage done to the unit and I decided or my family and I decided to stay in the unit that we were entitled to a rent decrease. This is, you know, a way for people to, should I say, compensate their tenants. I had to fight my landlord on this issue as well. It's California law. Plus, it was in my rental contract, but they did not want to back down and they didn't want to give me a decrease. I had to take my landlord to court for this crap. You should never, ever have to take your landlord to court for something that is yours, that is entitled to you by law and by a rental contract. Now, since then, la uh, this past July, when my family and I moved out, and the property manager came up and did the walkout inspection, she told me in front of my daughter that everything looked good and she would try to get as much of my security deposit back to me as possible. Um, I believe California law says that a landlord has 21 days after the tenant moves out to prepare all documentation and get back to you, you know, a list of itemized deductions, okay? My list of itemized deductions, it just went away with my security deposit. And on top of that, they're claiming that I owe them 
somewhere between twelve and fifteen hundred dollars on top of that. My attorney has written them a letter saying that they are in violation due to the fact that the property manager stated that everything looked good. So now they're in violation of the law again. Again, people, this is Gil Duran and he owns Duran Rentals. He is based in Ukiah, California, which is about an hour north of Santa Rosa. If you live in Ukiah or Willits, do not rent from Duran Rentals. They are crooks. They are out for your money and they do not respect tenant rights. I hope this helps you.